Hi, this is Dunamis333. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about believing. Believing includes doing. Now, I've already written out what I intend to say, so I wrote it out so I don't forget anything at all. Okay, to believe and not do is not believing at all. Now, in John 3.16, we read, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. To believe in the Lord is to believe that he is God and that he has the power to save us from spiritual death, which is hatred towards others. That's what spiritual death is, hatred towards others. This is why John said, this is 1 John 3, 14 and 15. We know that we have passed from death to life. Remember, he's talking about spiritual death to life. So what is life? This is why, um, because we love the brethren. Sorry, this is why I said, because we love the brethren. You see? So when you pass from death to life, and this is everlasting life, how do you know you have it? Love for the brethren. But you can't love the brethren unless you're doing things. Hmm? You can't separate doing from loving. Let me just read that again. We know we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. What death? Spiritual death. Eternal death. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. Hatred is murder. You don't, a person doesn't have to kill someone. Hatred alone is murder. That's, that's eternal death. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. How do we get this eternal life? By believing in Jesus Christ. By believing he is God. And that he has the power to give us his life. Which is his love. And once his love, and once his love has been received... It has to be expressed. You cannot have it and not express it. If you're not expressing it, chances are you don't have it. All those who truly believe receive everlasting life, which is expressed through acts of kindness towards others. And yet, millions of Christians think that believing doesn't include deeds of love towards others. These are do-nothing believers. In truth, they are not believers at all, even though they'll claim they are. Only those who do have everlasting life. Don't be deceived by the false doctrine that's all over YouTube. If I say I love my wife, and don't by my actions demonstrate that I love her, do I really love her? My acts of loving kindness towards my wife is the tangible evidence that I truly love her. And yet the church, will, church is full of false teachers who will try and convince you that you can love people without any actions to back it up. You can't. The Lord came to give us his love. Once his love is received, it will manifest in the lives of all those who receive it. So the next time you come across the word believe in the New Testament, remember it includes doing. My brothers and sisters, that's all I have today. I'll speak to you soon.